Bad Bunny brings Puerto Rico to Los Angeles's SoFi Stadium with surprise guest Ivy Queen, Concert Review, by Thanya Garcia. With only one more show left on the docket, Bad Bunny has just about finished the North American leg of his world's hottest tour. That title has certainly lived up to its promise, as the Puerto Rican phenom achieved the top-grossing tour of August with this trek, consisting of several stops in the country's biggest venues. Last night, he pulled out all the stops for the first of two back-to-back -back shows at Los Angeles's SoFi Stadium. He brought out several guests, including the reggaeton pioneer Ivy Queen, who played a medley of her hottest hits and declared his love for L.A., inciting cheers throughout the night with Los Latinos in L.A., K.S.E. Sienta. After a few discussions circulated online that the singer seemed dispirited on stage over his home island's bout with Hurricane Fiona, Bunny appeared to be in the best of moods Friday night. He spent the nearly three hours set singing his heart out and sharing sentimental moments with the thousands of screeching fans who held up eye-catching signs with anniversary dates, marriage proposals, and countless other requests written on them. At around 8.50 p.m., the glimmering introductory notes of Moscow Mule, the first cut from Unverano Sin T, kicked the night off. The piercing screams and shaky floorboards ushered Bad Bunny's launch. From there, he welcomed his first surprise guest, Chencho Corleone, onto the stage. The pair sang their summer-defining Mi Porto Benito and instructed the stadium to sing along in an a cappella rendition of its infectious chorus. A few songs later, Joel and Randy, the pair of reggaeton champions behind Safara, joined Bunny for an explosive performance of the song. The three took turns spitting their verses, playing off of each other's energy at the center of the stage while the booming bass of the reggaeton drum beats directed the next track. However, no one could have expected the thrill that would come next. During his performance of Yo Pereo Sola, Ivy Queen appeared on stage and finished out the last few lines of the track as Bad Bunny's hype woman. The Puerto Rican singer and pioneer of the Latin urban scene sported a bedazzled Playboy Bunny-inspired blue, white and red ensemble, emblazoned with the Puerto Rican flag. Accompanied by Bad Bunny's hand, the singer approached the front of the stage where she completed a short set list of her biggest hits starting with Teji Cuarito, plus Quiero Bailar and Quid 8-2 Pa Ponerme Yo. He and his dancers then took a short seated break on the stage's faux beach setup to take turns drinking from a bottle of wine while interacting with fans in the first rows. He jokingly pointed out a brunette girl who was sitting on someone's shoulders as Becky G put a call out for all the party going singles in the room and sent a few well wishes to all the couples, before welcoming one more guest that night, Bomba Asterios Lee Somit who joined him on stage in a neon pink and green look for their Latin Grammy-nominated Ojitos Lindos. The night continued with Bad Bunny delivering a speech, of which he repeated bits and pieces throughout the night, expressing his appreciation to fans who had been there for him since 2016, and to those who had joined him during the release of his blockbuster Unverano. By the time the night's finishers, El Apagon and Después de la Playa, began to play, the audience was ready to give up any last bits of energy they had left. On stage, a full-blown party between Bad Bunny, his dancers and band served as an example to the rows of fans while fireworks and pyrotechnics helped put a close to the night. On their way out, buzzing concertgoers filled the SoFi Stadium's never-ending hallways with sing-alongs to standouts from the set. Bad Bunny will play one more show at the SoFi Stadium tonight on what has now been declared Bad Bunny Day in LA, the city council confirmed on Saturday morning. According to a KTLA report, LA City Councilman Kevin DeLeo proposed the decision, which was backed by every council member, to honor the reggaeton artist's immense cultural impact to the Latino community across the city of LA. He continued, the city of LA's population is 50% Latino, one of the largest Latino populations in the world outside Latin American countries. Bad Bunny's cultural impact will have a tremendous and positive influence on future generations and will redefine Latino culture in Los Angeles and beyond for years to come. Bad Bunny will head south on October 21st to play the Estadio Olimpico Felix Sanchez in Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. The Central and South American trek will conclude at Mexico City's Estadio Azteca on December 9.